Hello everybody, welcome back to The Empress Speaks, and I'm The Empress. Happy Wednesday, happy September 6th to all of you. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining the channel or subscribing to the channel. Um, for those who have subscribed to my new subscribers, welcome to my day ones. Thank you for your support and loving me and coming back, and I love you too. If you're just a new viewer, Thank you for coming back because my new viewers, you make all the difference in the world too. All right, so with that being said, let's get into the reading for Leos. And on this channel, we do uh, Leo readings uh, because I am a proud Leo sun. And if you are a Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, you have landed in the right place. Okay, all right. Spirit guide and ancestors, please protect us, known and unknown, from any any negative energy or spell work or dark magic will make sure you transmute that into something positive so that we can always vibrate on the frequency of love okay all right with that being said let's get into it leo shall we thank you spirit i love it when the leo shows up in their reading <laughs> this is you leo you're in your strength you're self-assured confident sexy fabulous resilient, everything, a lion or a lioness should be, courageous, you're in your power, thank you spirit, okay, we've got the knight of swords here, not only are you in your power, you are fearless, you coming through, come on through Leo, <laughs> fearless, brave, clever, what is Leo so brave about, what has got Leo so hyped? Why is Leo in it, in it? I'm telling you, I love this energy for you, Leo. Mm -hmm. What is going on? You ready to communicate something, Leo. You standing up for something. You like, you coming in on a damn horse. Like, shh, what? What is Leo communicating? What is going on with my Leo? Spirit God, ancestors, tell it, tell it, tell it. Thank you. You, t you you telling somebody you planning, preparing, you getting shit ready to do, you getting ready to do something. <laughs> you ready for some ex success and expansion of a group. Either you're building something, you're adding on to your home. I'm getting that for a lot of you. You're adding on to your home. You're going up for a promotion, something. You're, you're talking with honesty and a, a, a sense of regality about you. You just... You just bringing it. You know what it is. You know what it ain't. And you know what it's going to be. <laughs> Expansion of ideas. Okay. I love this for you. So it uh, could be somebody, a uh, fellow fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you're just, you know, expanding some ideas, some business opportunities, perhaps opening up a salon or something like that. But you're talking business. You is, you're not playing, Leo. You're not playing. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. You're a little bit lonely now. So uh, this sun card flipped over. It could have been in the reverse or it could have come upright by the time it flipped over on the floor. But I'm going to take it in the reverse. So uh, another fire sign you could be dealing with, Leo, because this is your sign as well. Okay. And the happiest sign in the deck when it is upright. So um, you're trying to reflect on something. So I'm not going to say this is about unhappiness or loneliness, but you're reflecting on something. And most of you all know when Leo's get into that mode where they're planning and preparing, you know, they, they will go within. They will go and hermit a little bit. And they will go within um, and just kind of figure things out and come out swinging, okay? And so this is what I feel that you are doing. You are needing to reflect and you're separating yourself from people. You're going within and you're preserving your energy, gathering information. You're about to do something big, embarking on something large, a big investment, or a big decision, Leo. Spirit God, let's get uh, one card to clarify this sun energy here, the sun card. How is my Leo feeling? What are they planning and preparing to do? Thank you, Spirit to speak your damn mind ace of swords you about to you, there's a there's a breakthrough coming for you leo um and you're going to share some some enlightenment on a situation you may be a public speaker you may be 
in the public limelight. You may be going to court about a situation, but you're about to cut through something with the truth and clarity. It could be in a relationship or it could be in business. I'm getting heavy, heavy, heavy on the business aspect side of this. I uh, got the death card in the reverse. Somebody doesn't want to change, but you about to get them up. They're going to get off. They're going to get away from being stuck on stupid messing around with you, Leo. <laughs> they got the right one. All right. Give me more on this energy. Thank you, spirit. Ooh, where's that card? There it is. Yes. Okay. You have been disempowered in the past. You've had this eight of swords energy where you felt like you were helpless and couldn't do what you wanted to do. Wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. You felt like you were being um, controlled and manipulated and blocked. But now you're like, okay, I'm starting to see things clearly. This is your past. You've had some experiences where there were some changes, uh, but you're, you're about to go through a rebirth and cut away some of those things that have been holding you down and take that blindfold off. You're, that's your past. Your present is that, hey, you ready to speak truth and clarity and end a situation, um, you know, and, and share your perspective. In the past, you've kind of been stifled, okay, and blocked from sharing your, your thoughts and opinions on things, but no longer are you blocked. You're ready to roll with it. If they want the smoke, they can have it. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we've got two cards that fell out here. You're speaking up for yourself romantically. This Two of Cups generally indicates a twin flame or definitely a soulmate. You're speaking up about a partnership and a love. I'm getting that this is a masculine. doesn't have to be, but I'm feeling that this is a masculine speaking up for his feminine, for his divine feminine. That's what I'm getting. And he sees you as the queen of wands. The queen of wands is beautiful. She's passionate. She's warm. She's alluring. Could be a he. So flip through genders as you see fit. But I'm getting that this person is very steadfast, very sexy, very well-dressed, very well-spoken. When you walk into the room, you light it up and you own it. And this person is wanting to come towards you. They finally have the strength to stand in their power and come towards you and make a legitimate offer of love. The whole energy in my room and in this reading change. This person is very serious about you, Leo. Very serious about you. Can I get more on how this person feels for Leo in this reading? And how does Leo feel about this person, Spirit? Thank you. Sorry about that. I had to pause that. This person feels very... In, in, the Queen of Pentacles is a very protective energy, a kind, practical, intelligent energy, someone who's focused on their family, home, and abundance. This is how they feel about you. Like, they want to take care of you. They want to be home for you. They want to provide for you. They want to take care of everything about you. They don't even want you to work. They don't want you to have to worry about anything. That's how they feel about you. Baby, this is the emperor at the bottom of the deck coming for you. They, they want to be everything for you. This is beautiful. So how does Leo feel about this person? They want to provide that stability and foundation for you financially, emotionally, sexually, physically, they want to be everything for you. Thank you, Spirit. Now, if this is your reading, you are feeling like this person did break your heart. They did put you in a three of, in the three of swords in the past. And you are in this six of cups in the reverse, meaning unforgiving very cynical, very thankless. You're going to put them through. You're going to make them work for this one. Okay, and that's because they put you in this three 
of swords. They stabbed you. Not once, twice, or they stabbed you and stabbed you and stabbed you in your heart, through your heart again, multiple times. So you're very reluctant in this relationship. You're very reluctant with this person. You got your guards up, but they really want forever with you. They want to make it right. They want to take care of you. Thank you, Spirit. They want to create some sense of balance. We've got the temperance card here. They, they, they want to combine forces with you. They want to come together and create an, an amazing life and future for you. Now, I can't tell you what to do if this is your reading. Only you know what you've experienced and endured from the heart. But this person is, is trying to come correct and come right towards you. They really want to be with you. They really want to be with you. They want to spend forever with you. This They've realized that their life means nothing without you in it. That's just how sincere this person is about you. Their whole world right now revolves around you. They really want to be with you, Leo. I'm going to leave it right here for now because this is heavy. Um, if this is your reading and you want to talk to me about it or you need some guidance, the link will be in the description box below on how to schedule um, a consultation with me. 30-minute um, readings are through video only, face-to-face -face on video. They're 3333. Um, everything that you need to know will be in the description box below. Thank you all for subscribing and supporting the channel and visiting the channel. Um, as always, take care of yourself and each other. Bye.